Here is the group at CABC in Spring Grove. Here is the group at La Romana. The three amigos connected with Spry Church, Pastor Al, along with Mike and Laura and Slynn, our group leaders and their three children, and our Dominican host, Pastor Elza Fenard. Michelle, one of our interpreters who was so helpful to us throughout the nine days, especially on February 25th, when I had the privilege of preaching at the Sunday morning service. February 24th, Dave and Sharon Smith and Al Horst, along with 39 others from nine different churches, began a nine-day mission trip to the Dominican Republic, a trip that included preaching, teaching, puppet shows, a picnic, dental checkups, and food and clothing distributions. The highlight of the trip was that 18 children, grades 4th through 7, accepted Christ as their Savior. Praise God. Tay is a community that is located in the sugarcane fields where the sugarcane workers live. Traditionally, these migrant workers are Haitians. The living conditions are poor and many lack basic necessities. We went into five different patés during the week doing clothing distributions and delivering almost a thousand food bags we had prepared in the evenings. We also provided medicine and medical care as able. A special moment for Pastor Al getting to hold this precious little one. We spent three days at Bate 35 School teaching lessons, crafts, games, music, and health. This school exists to provide an education to the children of Haitian sugarcane workers. There were about 80 students that came from 13 to 15 Bates. A special moment was when we washed the students' feet as we taught them about Jesus and who he was. Gene Dyke is from Christ UMC, yo, at age 81, the oldest member of our team. Gene has been doing this mission for over 20 years, and our folks in the DR affectionately refer to her as Mama Jean. <laughs> <laughs> 